And oh, Noel, how you doing? I'm Zamboni. So. What's going on is Zamboni from Coldplay Media at Rep Radio Network. And I got who with me? Noel. Nino from Anime Editorial. Yes, and? Sebastian Wheeler, I'm from Chattanooga. I am Phoenix Cosplay, and I am Star Guardian Puppy. <laughs> the Triforce Goddess, my. The Triforce Goddess Gwendolyn, that's awesome! Darth Totoro here. Link! Link. No, the... Yeah, what's going on, Link? Nothing much, just here at Momocon. Charles. Charles, and tell me about your costume, man. This shit looks vicious. Um, I started it because of the cons that are around. It's starting to boom now, and I got into leather work about a year ago. And I have a friend who hunts, and that's where I get the bones from. This is all. This is all real. This bones. is all leather, leather armor work, and then bone work. Like that's what all of this is. This shit right here, man. That shit go. That's awesome. So this is all actual real. Yeah, this is all real. This is quality. You can stab this if you wanted to. And, and it, it wouldn't, really it wouldn't hit me. Armor. Yeah, this wouldn't hit me. That's awesome. All right, so the base is made out of flower pots, actually plastic ones, and then this is PVC pipe, and this is a clear acrylic right here. So it was, we made this two weeks before Momocon, and I got no sleep at all. And it weighs about 20 pounds, so it's pretty heavy, and I've been carrying it all day. You're telling me this weighs 20 pounds? Let me see this. Hold on, help me out, help me out. Oh gosh, you're not lying. How are you carrying this around all day? I'm no hero. I'm just a yordle with a hammer. <laughs> a Victorian inspired Harley Quinn. Oh wow, can we get like a little spin for the Harley Quinn? There we go. And let's check out this hammer you have. Yeah, I made it. I made it myself. It was a um, croquet mallet and I painted it and electric taped it. <laughs> It's a croquet mallet. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, mostly it was the last minute. I made the original green part back mm -hmm. in 2006, and I've yet to up really update it. So I just found some pants, orange shirt, my hat, and bought some props, and there's my costume. Hey. So how has your experience been at MomoCon so far? It's been incredible. I volunteered every year, so I love this convention. I'm from Alabama. I decided to come here for MomoCon. I come here each year just to have fun, vacation, and escape my job. <sighs> uh -oh. Only thing is, I love wearing dresses like this. I would love to wear more. I just got to find the right shoes. Yep, yep. That's the only thing. If you come to a con, get shoes. Get shoes? Right shoes. Can't be doing them high heels, no platforms, none of that crazy stuff? Right now, the high heels are killing me. Yep, killing you? <laughs> well, if, if you're suffering for it, can we get a shot of it real quick? Can you show us the kicks? Mm. Bow! Bow! Got the kick game right there. Yeah. It Oh yeah, I'll be here until Sunday. I'm excited. This is my first MomoCon and I've been working really hard on the whole cosplay. I'm going to be on the main cosplay competition for craftsmanship and the whole reason I came here is to network and work on the... Just, just to be up on that stage and meet all these amazing people. This is my first MomoCon and it's been amazing so far. It's, I've watched this for two years, like all the vlogs and stuff, and then I came here and I saw the Momocon arch and I was like, I was staring at it, my friend was beside me like, are you okay? And I was, I was just so in awe of the arch, seeing it in person, it was amazing. I've been to Dragon Con a few times in the past, and, and Anime Week in Atlanta, but I'd say Momocon's probably my favorite, simply because of its location and its amount of space it has. Amazing. I mean, it's a lot better than how, how it has been for the past seven years. I've been coming here since 2010. You know, the revenue has changed so many times, but it's been better every single experience, man. It's, it's really awesome. I respect it a lot. Nice, nice, nice. So how does this compare to maybe some of the other conventions going on? What makes MomoCon so special? It's just, it's just all the different varieties of cosplay, man. It's just... It's just awesome. Like every single every single year, you see a bigger evolution of the way people put so much effort and time into their costumes. Even if people spend like thousands of dollars in their stuff, they always have the perfect time and dedication to make it pop out so brightly. And it helps everybody just have a good time, be able to take pictures for their family, their friends, their acquaintances at work, or anybody. I mean, I've been on, I'm on vacation right now for my job. And my managers and everybody at my job want me to take pictures for them and stuff. It's definitely a lot bigger. This is the furthest I've traveled. I've went four hours to come here. And I've seen so many amazing cosplayers already. I can't wait to see the craftsmanship competition, to see them all come out too. And 
That's awesome. This is my second year in a row going all four days, so I'm loving it. Like just being around all the costumes, taking pictures, getting my picture taken, being interviewed. I mean, this is this is great. Um, this year it's bigger because it grows every year. Um, also, last year I got super sick, so this one I'm actually able to enjoy the whole thing. <laughs> And I'm cosplaying a lot more this year, so I'm really excited about that. They're expanding and everything, so that means everything's going to get much bigger and much more awesome. So tell us a little bit about like, what you like to do in your pastime. I know you told me you're a figure skater. I figure skate. I obviously cosplay has taken over everything. I'm a huge League of Legends player. This is League. And actually tomorrow I'm going to be Kindred from League of Legends. So. League of Legends all day, every day. <laughs> Actually, uh, I run a small business. I'm just starting up. This is my first year in, and I did this as a project to come here for when people ask me like what I'm doing or what this is. It's because I actually do this at home as a living. Like I'm trying to start this as a like an actual revenue source for myself. That's what's up. So, as, as an actual revenue source, is there a way? or a means that people can contact you to find out more? Yeah, um, you can get me on Facebook. It's Charles C-O-T-Y Cody Roberts. Charles C-O-T-Y Roberts? Charles C-O-T-Y Roberts. Well, I hear that you're final, a Final Fantasy fan, and we like to ask people questions about their video game experience, so tell me the best of all time. Which is the best Final Fantasy? My, most people judge me for it. I love 10-2. I do, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but I, I love it. And maybe it's because of all the girl power or whatever, but I, I love it. Actually, I play Star Wars Battlefront. You know, I play myself because, you know, I'm a, I'm a galactic ruler. I'm a narcissistic bastard. I, I killed the younglings in the third episode. I got to keep that. I got to keep my rep up, man. I got to kill rebel scum. That's what happens. That's your job, right? Exactly. You know, to me, I mean, I've never been a fan of Darth Vader. I kind of think, you know, there's no, there's nothing great about him, really. You know what I mean? There's nothing great about him. Are you going to do something? Is this one of the bigger uh, conventions that you guys have been to? For her, this this isn't. For me, it is. Um, she's been to, like, Dragon Con, but this is, like, huge for me. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. at night. I'm sure. Even at night, it's crazy. Yeah, I make it out to I make it out to all the, like, big Atlanta conventions every year. I make sure I make sure to get to um, Anime Weekend every October. I make sure to get to uh, Dragon Con, every, you know, in the fall. Like, I, I, I love coming to Atlanta conventions. There's always a vibe and energy here that you don't get in other places, man. Like, because you, you, you're Mixing, you're mixing the nerd culture that's already present in loads of places with the, with, southern, with, with the southern hospitality and like yeah. the, you know, we've, we've got, we, 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 got, we can't deny it. there's this black magic that we've got here, man. Oh, yeah. I, you know, the, the, the African descent really does mix in with the culture of the city and it, and it really does make for like amazing experience that, that you get around. But like when you get here inside the building, you've got loads of great people to see, loads of cool stuff to do. Like it's, it's, it's always a great vibe whenever you come to a convention. Shout out to Momocon, man. It's great. It's awesome. So as far as like the conventions, what is been like the highlights or the best moments for you guys you go ahead man. oh yeah I mean <laughs> I mean well to be honest it's really just like connecting with people last like, because like especially because I do a lot of work on the internet it's really interesting like you spend 365 days talking to people on Twitter on social media and all sorts of that then like you finally get like a good place where you can come together and meet all those people you've been talking in to person. in person man it's great I just shout out to my man T, uh, Shiki TMS he's this uh, SoundCloud rapper does a lot of great stuff um, he actually just I just bumped into him a couple minutes ago like I, that was the first time I ever met him in person and I we had been talking for like a, a good while I didn't even know he was gonna be here today so it was, it's always great to meet the people who you form connections with and actually I got to sit down with Xavier Woods um, Austin Creed he's, uh, this really good wrestler at the WWE like because I was able to get the press pass I was able to like sit down and have a good conversation with him yeah. like it's always great to like meet people who are in the industry and stuff it's always cool but honestly right now the best thing is the concert that's going on downstairs by Bit Brigade the Bit Brigade yeah like it was a bunch of video game music except yes. they're actually all playing it yeah, it was great. it was tight they got like the games playing up on the screen and everything they're playing to it really yeah it's tight dude it's sick it's sick it, i gotta check that out yeah and like he said it's great to meet the people that you know you just talk online to all the time because the face-to-face -face is what gets lost and through social media and then you actually get to meet them. My favorite part is easily all the cosplays. Like whether I do it, see others in it, it's just it's it's amazing. Like how much time, effort, and love everybody puts into all their creations. 
So do you have any big plans or something different you're doing this year for BomaCon or, you know? Um, well, this is my actual debut of this one. And then I actually have someone working for Dragon Con. So I'm um, doing a, a Sacrifice Yuna from Final Fantasy X-2 really? or X. Uh -huh. wow. Yeah, I'm working on that. And I'm currently making a Keyblade for a Snow White inspired Keyblade. And I've made that out of PCP plastic. Well, this is a fantastic cosplay, a great hammer. I don't want to be hit by that. And trust me, it's, it is 20 pounds plus do you have any shout outs you'd like to do um I'd like to thank my father for helping me he carries my hammer when I get too tired and my friend for being my support over there before we go is there anybody that you want to shout out to any station or anything you want to shout out to? shout outs to myself anime editorial you can find me at 90-N-I-N-O-U-H I cover anime on a you know on a frequent basis. I try to make it frequent. Um, you can also find me on Twitter at n i n o u h at nine zero nine zero ninety. So uh, that's pretty much it. Also, big ups to uh, big ups to Momocon in general and all the people who are able to make it out here, man. We all love you, man. Yeah, my friends that are here with me, Wes. You want to come in, Wes? You want to come in, Wes? This is Wes. And Brittany and my girlfriend Kristen. Brittany is his girlfriend or wife, actually. Brittany and Kristen, man. Hi to any of my friends that I didn't get to see. Any other Zelda cosplayers out there? You're awesome. <laughs> hey, everybody! Hey, hey. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Because it doesn't stop till you drop. No, <laughs> no, no, no. And we don't drop here. CoplayMedia.com or Rip Television. <laughs>